Cut tips. So what we're going to do today is a little experiment. It's long been speculated which one is the most effective in terms of bagged ice. So what we're going to do today is test four different types of ice. Crushed ice. Solid ice. Solid ice with water. Solid ice with water and salt. Now as we do not have uh, thermometers, what we're going to do instead is just sit and wait and see which one melts the fastest. Okay. Well, just 30 minutes into our little test. There we go. So first thing we're going to look at is the crushed ice. Okay, still pretty solid. Some water is starting to gather in the end of the bag. Not too much. Okay, let's have a look at the solid ice. A little bit of water down on the the end of the bag, the corner, left hand corner. But other than that, pretty solid. Solid ice with water. Okay, water is still there. Ice is still pretty solid, going strong. Okay, and lastly, the ice with water and salt. So again, if we have a good feel of that, yeah, pretty solid in there. Going strong. Okay. So, we are almost, you can see that, one hour. You can see that the crushed ice is nearly all water. Crushed. Sorry about the signage came off, a little drop of water. The solid ice, still pretty much solid. Going strong. Again, just a little deposit of water in the bottom. Solid ice with water, still going strong, yeah. So basically the ice is still pretty much solid. So now, if you can see the watch, it's 1 minute 30, just plus a couple of seconds, give or take. So, again. The crushed ice is almost a bag of water. So I'm going to take this out of the equation. So that one's gone. Pretty much. Solid ice, still pretty solid. Get that over its head. Solid ice with water, still going strong. But you can see there's more and more water starting to collect in the bag. Okay, put that one there. And solid ice with water and salt and this one is pretty much as you can see melting as well a lot of water in that bag so so far solid ice on its own and the bag is playing a stormer well let's see so now let's have a look at the time just coming up to two hours okay just coming up to two hours on two, one, now. So, solid ice, still pretty solid. The ice with water, well, there's more and more water starting to collect in the bag. Ice, the solid pieces of ice are getting smaller and smaller. And the ice with salt is basically now Nearly all primarily water. So we're going to take this one out. So it is now two and a half hours since we started the little test. So let's have a look at the condition of the ice. So the solid ice cubes, still pretty good. Okay, six cubes per bag, there, thereabouts. But the solid ice with water is not doing so good. As a matter of fact, most of the bag is filled with water right now. There's a few little pieces. Okay, so our winner is solid ice. So again, just to summarize. So the winner today was basically the solid blocks of ice. The force to melt was crushed ice. 
The second to melt was sea salt, ice and water. And the third to melt was ice and water. Solid blocks of ice are champ. Now obviously the bigger the ice, the surface area takes longer to melt. So the bigger the ice. Second thing is, air inside the bag is not a good thing. Now I did try to take as much air out of those bags as possible when I was doing the test, but I can't be sure that each of those bags had an equal amount of air in each one. Equally, I put six cubes of ice in each bag. All of them were solid pieces except for the crushed ice. Sea water is better than trying to make up the ratios between sea salt, packaged sea salt and ordinary water. So they recommend that sea water frozen is better and may last longer. There were six ice cubes in each of those bags except for the crushed ice cubes. Other considerations are that when you work an event you will have to leave the likes of your ice exposed to room temperature but there are ways and means that you can make that last longer and that's what we're going to do in the next cut tips so please 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 tune in for cut tips keep your eyes on notifications you can tune in to us on minute medicine man our youtube channel or minute medicine man you'll see us on instagram you'll see notifications on that and again you can go into those videos or i'll put up short videos on instagram Facebook page equally Joseph Clifford or Minute Medicine Man. Thanks for tuning in.